Well, where do you want to start? Good. I'll get you the meeting minutes from the last meeting. Next meeting. I don't know what happened to it yet. Who else is the space? No, it's in here. It's in the cloud. I put those big black letters on this one for you. Never, <laughs> never been, never hit those my numbers before. I meant to print it out. It came out like that. I don't know. The minutes are, they're in there. They're in black. <laughs> I got to figure out what the hell happened in this. I mean, it's like one page long and it printed like 40 something pages of that gibberish. Huh. Well, moving on then. New business. And still, you just said you think a lot, a lot, a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's like a June and July. Yeah, yeah, that's all in there. Whoa, June was just in time. The friggin' sprinklers, man. It's like that. A couple of water. Oh, you just take it right down, straight up. Oh, I know, I just do that. It. You can tell there's maybe three or four houses that don't have them, and they're cooked, and the rest of them are just like, I know, I know, so everybody, my name's right over here. Everybody's a crispy brown lawn. <laughs> so Austin, White still, bottles, no Austin bottles. still running sprinklers? Thanks to you. The trash okay. man? Tra the trash man next to Oh, week. yeah. He Austin, has, no, he's, he's they have a system that I've been using. You put some stay, they put out, they had out a hose on things this for a while, a couple weeks ago, but they haven't been irrigating. And I think because it's, you know, it's so pointless on that scene. It's just yeah. It's you not do it doing. four times a day. Oh. I, I just hope that as I age, I have the endurance crab legs. <laughs> Hot and dry, just fine. <laughs> it was like very big and beefy and thick, now it's going sideways. Takes a big chunk of your arm and one plant. I think she did. There you are. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. No, that's no worries. Our new select one. Our new select one, yes. <laughs> Our liaison, I think, right? Thank your pardon? I said, I think you're our liaison, right? Yes, I'm your liaison, and I'm the new select board member this year, replacing Jonathan Edwards. So I'm liaising. <laughs> <laughs> She's all I wondered the well's keeping her up. The wells are actually like I've seen them. I haven't seen them. They hang when the wells are off, they'll be about 55, 56 feet of water above the pump. And when they turn on, I've never seen it drop below like 33, 34. That's marvelous. I mean, this is great. It's great. It's my, I have this thing in my head that people got to get used to it. They just can't they throw it all over the place all the time. Right. You know, they keep wanting to add users to the system. We need to start. That's not going to work. Right. So, or if the sprinklers had killed it, it wasn't for the sprinklers. Right. The yeah. Well, I would say, I would say for a simplified kind of, if you readjust the rate, in a simplified kind of rate structure, just, you could have a flat rate for a volume that's, you know, that's typical of a household or a family. You know, that, again, it's a residential rate. Commercial and agricultural might be different. Yeah. You have to look at it. But when you get to that level, six months to say it was to say it was like 300 gallons of household debt, which is a lot. If you do that, the math on that, that's how much water you get for the cheaper rate. 
you go over that, yeah, double it. I mean, make it expensive to do that water. And if people really want to water, they'll throw them out there. We'll say, right. and you could. The last time you did this water thing, you could see it very plainly because when, when you and I closed off that end of Long Plain Road, which includes Great Oak and all of that, and they were taking it out, they had to get there's like, yeah, right straight down. So you know where you know, an awful lot of water going in that section of the town every single day. Oh, the one's nice and green. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> Makes the whole neighborhood cooler. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's that's great structure. Yeah. Enclosure. Yeah, I haven't heard much about that lately. I know we applied, pretty sure we applied for a grant to do the design and engineering for it. But besides that, I haven't, got no, I haven't really heard nothing about that. That's the Jack. Yeah, yeah, Jack and under the tracks and run that do they, they still do i mean they still do that it's, i guess it's probably your effort to out yeah it's not it anymore <laughs> it's like they didn't have to uh, do one shot they were yeah. under the tracks and yeah. run. they didn't go anywhere okay cleaning and inspection that i get a head we use this one. Now we need a piece of paper. I don't know what does it say. Is it five grand, four grand, five grand? It's less than forty-two hundred or forty-three hundred or something. Less. Yeah, thirty-eight ninety. Yeah. yeah, it's the same. I mean, I guess we could try to find somebody else, but they're the same guys that have been doing it. They've always been. Yeah, yeah, that's from day forever. You're familiar that's, with it, with that style of paint. So. That's, and that's what they do. Yeah. They're all over the place doing that. I guess that would be, that would be one. I think somebody would have to make a motion and then vote on it, I guess. Well, I make a motion that we accept this company that we've had for since day one. Second. That's a five. They want you to do it every five years. Yeah, the DEP requires it every five years. So. But it's very not. <laughs> right. It, it, it's incredible with the amount of names we used to have in the water for you. And it's still 16th of an inch, half an inch on the bottom of the tank in five years. It is usually net nothing in it. It all gets consumed in the distribution system. Everybody right. sinks and toilets before it gets poured. <laughs> all those approve of this, George? Aye. Right. Right. Okay, we've approved of that. Yeah, sign that one, George, and you need that one back so I can send it back to them. Yep. Scoop divers thing. Yep. Divers is good. See if your keys are in the bottom. Yeah, maybe I'll find them. Geez, I had a thing that's last week. We feel this past weekend. Last year I had bathrooms on my house. They used to text, text and put the wash dryer, the wash dryer upstairs. The arrangements. They shoved text down to the two pictures that the wall wall. And I just have to go on sale and have to keep, let's see what it drips in the foot. Look how it's coming from that pipe. Like, what? <laughs> so the way it is, okay, it's in the pipe because they still got sagging. So then Sunday morning, I go, oh, it's still leaking. And then Monday, I shut the water and I go, because I don't know it's not over. <coughs> Monday morning, put the water on, set the corn out there. Well, before I plumb a break, we came over, did it work, came over the first thing in the morning, and they pulled the dryer away. It was a big pain in the spot. You get in the panel, and sure enough, where you shove the pipe down, there were nails sticking through the two panels. Okay. Huh. That perfect thing about why you don't put pipe in the ground with stones. So just punctured it. And if I had, if I had been away, 
that the storage tank was heading for my basement. <laughs> just keep coming. Sister was like that too. They put a drywall screen right through her pipe. Never happened. Never start leaking. Probably twenty years she was in the house. Well, it already yeah. happened in the house once. Suzanne and Ryan then her came loose. That's, That's how I got cold water. I think I thought Austin told me they had uh, it froze up. They had left. They turned the water from the heat off. Froze the pipe. Yeah. And that's what the best. Sanitary survey. The DP nesties. The big one. <laughs> well, one of the big ones. Very. You could read through the whole thing, and just go to the last two pages. That kind of summer rate and then it was there. Read through everyone that we gotta do. Well, I'll give a quick summary. All right. So they want us <clears throat> to develop a capital improvement plan with a rate study and asset management plan. They want a generator at the Westbrook pump station. They want us to implement water conservation measures, which in other words, turn it into we got to apply it because now that we withdraw more than 100,000 gallons a day throughout the year average, we got to apply for a water management act permit. Which, from what they've been telling me, is a long and expensive process. <laughs> Which we'll get to that next because I got quotes for that one, huh? Uh, they want markers going on the transmission line where it goes cross country up to the tank. They want markers put and all the overgrowth cut off of it. They want. Uh huh. I know they still weekly run anywhere. They can cut the brush in the wetlands there. Well, no, no. See, this is where you get into this is the water side of DET telling you they want it done. But to do it, you'd have to, we got to go through yes. conservation, that side of DEP to get the okay to do it. So, in other words, the one on this side of the room wants you to do it, and the guy in the door behind on the other side of the hallway is probably going to complain that no, you can't cut that stuff. You to put that today? Oh. They want to, I guess, the town or us to adopt the bylaw saying something in the regards of any lawn irrigation system going in require a backflow device on them. See the what you might call it proposal to reduce the per capita water use. That's part of the Water Management Act. Can it? So they think you can do that with a code required or not? What's that? Is code required? Plumbing code require a black code device on sprinkler system? Residential? No, not that. Not that. I, I know. I'm not sure it does. I'm not sure. What they're sure. worried about is. And I tried telling them, it's like, nobody does that because if you did that, you'd burn your lawn. They think that everybody that puts a lawn irrigation system in injects liquid fertilizer to it. And I'm like, <coughs> nobody <coughs> does that. Because most of the time, if you did that, you'd burn your lawn. It's no different than that with back and break record, so not. Right. It's the same idea. So have some... right. No, they want a regular RPZ on huh? Right. And if it, that's... <laughs> If there's a device, then it has to be tested. Right. That's so why we took the one out of here because you don't need it in here. But we had one. But if it's there, you got to test it. Yeah, the one in here, remember, it was one of them. The DEP said we, we didn't need it. And the 
Hester said we needed yeah. it, or it's the other way around. Right, right. One said we didn't need it, one said we didn't. The DEP said we didn't need it. So just... Is this a commercial irrigation system or residential? Resident, they want it on the residential houses. Yes. I, 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 don't, think it's, I don't think it's not. I don't think you could. We can do that. We can, the town can require it. A double check valve or a vacuum breaker would suffice on, on an irrigation system for a while. That's a backboard. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not a high like everybody's boiler has. Well, it's got a little one that's not, you know, I mean, that you don't have to test. That's the only thing that. The old story of the swimming pool. But anyway, that, that just doesn't, I mean, RPZ is for a high risk, and it's not a high risk. So it's for the yeah, the device is based on the degree of hazard that you have. Right. And this irrigating you want is not a hazard. No, it's like I told you, so there's nobody that puts fertilizer through the sprinkler. Only in the greenhouses. And they the, have, they in have the greenhouses have. They've got the heavy duty protection. Well, I, mean, I don't know. I've never installed it, but the guys who install these irrigation systems are you know, put in the house. They should have put a good check out for something. Most of all, you see, you have a back to work. Right? Yeah, it's something. Yeah. That's, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, the, Fed, the state can make the rules tougher than the feds, but not less. So that if they wanted to require RPCs, then where's the money? That's an unfunded mandate. There's a lot of money that people can go through mm -hmm. that was to have that extra protection. Yeah. And then the test, I mean, the testing twice a year. Yeah. The guy told me years ago, he said, you should get yourself in the Get self certified to be a backboard device tester, buy your equipment, just try around and make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm getting back. I'm going back to that one. There's some good stuff on here. Yeah. The first one on that page is really just if my hours or Billy's hours change or one of us leave or somebody else comes in, we're going to give them a new. What the heck do they call it? Plan, the staffing plan. Uh, that's how we this, should the first time. Yeah. When I retired, I went out one door, came back in the other door yeah. as the backup operator, and then they, they stopped bothering us. Not to, they <laughs> bothering us for backup operators for years. We never had one. Yeah. I still haven't finished it. I started it. They want a written plan of how. When that booster station online goes online for the center of town of how we're gonna actually turn it on. I'm sure they will. I'll be right here looking yeah. at my shoulder. I'm sure he'll be up here. And then the last one's a written notice that we updated the ERP and going in, which yeah, we did, and now we got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he knew we were gonna. It was updated to as far as when they don't come Friday. Yeah, we were lucky that he let us wait this long to do it. Right. Because we got a lot of stuff accomplished in here before we redid it. Otherwise, you'd have been redoing it constantly. But the yeah. first round of filters and the second round of filters and all that stuff, we managed to get it all caught this time. We stuffed that on. Right. I mean, it's always a working thing, but. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much lists all besides the generator for here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we'll get the generator with the COVID money. We're supposed to spend some of that on water. Well, it was initially designed for water and infrastructure, but um, then all of a sudden, halfway through, they changed it and they allocated money out to other things in town. I would have thought that, you know, this would have been a priority. Anybody have any other questions about that thing? 
No, I think we can read it over and yeah. What is that? What did the mixer come up with? Is that on you? Did I miss it? That's part of it. I must have missed it. But I don't know if they actually, yeah, I don't know if they actually put it on here, but I remember them telling me they want a mixer on top of the tank or in the tank. No, they want an actual paddle in there. Some kind of mixer. Not saying No, just a mixer, a tank mixer. Because like I said, I don't. Does, the tank fills from the bottom. It's constantly turned upside down. Yeah. I, you know, it's not like you dump it from the top and the stuff on the bottom. It fills in, in with extracts from the bottom. I don't know. This is in the club that you go find something. See, this is tough. We have no electricity. Right. But I, I have been working with weapons, but I got to get them some more dimensions and stuff. They do make solar power. Be a pretty good size of radar. No, no, no. It's, uh, I mean, he hasn't gave me any of the final one that would fit it, but it sounds like it's really not a big thing. Just a little kind of thing that just sits in there and put a leg here. Yeah, it just kind of moves the water around. Another thing to wear out. Huh? Another thing to wear out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, engineering proposals. That's the next thing. This is the same, I believe, Kristen that did, I did the ERP and o and M with. This is her proposal to, well, if you go to page nine, to get, I don't know what you want to call it. The Water Management Act done and the other stuff done that the DEP is requiring. And the first one, the Capital Improvement Plan and Water Rate Study is the expensive one for 30 grand. The Water Conservation and Water Management Act permit, the conservation plan's five grand, the permit's 10 grand. Those are cheaper because a lot of the stuff that she's going to do for the first one also has to get done for the other two. So they kind of intermingle, I guess you'd call it. I mean, if you read, you know, I mean, she spells everything out, what's going to get done, what she's going to do. If you look at the uh, O&M that she did for us and the emergency response, she is very comprehensive. Yeah, I don't have the final ones here. I just see the ones that made it off the other store. The real ones are at the office. Good thing is she does it for other towns, so you know, it's not as if she just did. Yeah, she line. just I think she did Hatfield, I think she said she just finished East Hampton, Williamsburg. No, no, like East Hampton, they probably use Hillary Williams that day, right? Yeah, no, she's definitely very knowledgeable in it. And once it's done, you know what keeps DP down to, yeah. And she's definitely not afraid to battle with the DEP. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, I mean, like you said, the DEP is great at spending the water department's money, but there's things that they say they want done, but you don't have to do. Yeah, you know, I mean, she's great at knowing what you actually got to do and compared to what they want you to do. 
I, I don't know if they're rates in years, but they would actually require a regulation to pass through one of them. Yeah. So it's what me as an engineer and the steps that you should have, isn't it? So those, those, that's why I was a bit, I mean, I was looking at the language when you wrote it up, they wrote it up in the sentence. Or, Saying you are required to do this, it's like, well, why? Yes, yeah. one question to ask, not only required to do that, show me chapter and verse. It's nice to have backup power, you should have backup power. Right. It's really required, I don't know. Here is the tough one. Because do we need it? Yes, because if, yeah, I mean, the power goes out, this fills the tank, the supply to town, but the only what do you want to call it? Law or whatever they have is you've got to maintain, what is it, 25 PSI? Which without these pumps on, the system will maintain 25 PSI. But you're oh, just not right, but you're just not going to be able to push no more water to the pump. Westbrook is a different story because if that power goes out, you're not going to have the 25 PSI. Yeah, what we had at the top of the hill before that station was, um, I think it was pretty close to 20, if I remember right. Right, but something. 20 is below the 20 plus. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's kind of why they want one here, but it's the Westbrook one that they're really saying has to be put in. Because I think it's like you said, the one here, there's really no, what do you call it bylaw or whatever you want to call it? Regulation, right? That means really big. You know, if EPA requires it's one thing, but EPA is all about monitoring the port. The state gets into the engineering part of it, the inspectors. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. And there's smart ways to do things, not so smart, but it's also hard. Yeah. And there's no, and you write right, regulations are really hard to do because you're trying to catch everybody from Boston to you know some trailer park in the same world. Yeah. It's really hard to do that. It's just, you know what I mean, like here with the generator, like me and Billy always used to figure, you told everybody, hey, the wells are down. You know what I mean? Careful with the water. Don't use it outside. Don't wash your cars, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you could get probably five or six days out of it. Yeah, because, you know, the normal circumstances, $100,000, 100,000 gallons about an average day. Right. So you got four days in there before you have to start to sweat. But like this last month, where well, you're averaging two hundred and something thousand gallons a day, you got a day and a half of water in your tank. Ideally, I would never, ever, ever approach two hundred thousand before that. Probably ninety seven, hundred ninety eight thousand. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you that's, got, that's almost half the tank. Today. Yeah, that's you're cool. using a half a tank, and eventually, I mean, you can't. Yeah, the tank fills the twenty four feet, but. I mean, what's the number where you're not going to have pressure? Anymore? I'm sure you can't go to zero in the tank. You still have pressure because you've got that whole line full of water from the tank. Yeah. But that water will only really last a couple of minutes. Right. Yeah, and every time it slides down the hill, the pressure on well, yeah. our end of town keeps going down and down. And then but we got a half field, we got some near field, and if we had two more things, Right, maybe. Because well, Hatfield's getting. I think Hatfield's worse than we are. He actually told me the other day. He goes, "I'm gonna have to borrow water from you guys." Wow, he's got to get the guys to shut off the sprinklers. Well, that's why Hatfield and everybody's got to yeah. in the middle of the day too. Mm -hmm. The worst possible time. <laughs> You know, plus, when the ground's dry like that, it doesn't take the water. You yeah. just spray it on to the midday heat, it's gone. It's, it evaporates. It's like I told people, you very rarely are you going to see a farmer irrigating in the middle of the day. There's a reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you want to vote on that or take them home and read it. Because the biggest thing with that is they're going to have to figure out where to get the money from the paper. You know what I mean? Because like, we can't technically tell her to start doing it and sign the contract until the money's sitting there. Like to pay you for said, it. it's going to be a five-year process. 
come down to a small amount each year. I don't maybe that's something we want to, you know, I mean, we can pull off to the next meeting and I can ask her to come to it. Well, she already, we talked about it a little bit. She said, I know the budget year already started, and blah, blah, blah. And she said, maybe we can, you know, I mean, if we have to, maybe we can split it up. Yeah. So we just put 25, 25 left at the end of the year last year. Because none of the expenses that we anticipated from the merger yeah. operating the thing in the center of town, none of that ever happened. So there's 25 grand left that's going to circle its way back into the account. It's not like it used to be. They're just going to find it, somebody's going to take it back, then you got to go beg for it. It's just going to go around the circle. You'll have, we'll have it back again. How is this uh, water increase uh, going to help us? I mean, it's considerable. I mean, you're definitely, I mean, you're going to have higher bills. Yeah. The, but you also, on the other end, you have higher bills to produce. It. Yeah, I mean, so you're, I would say definitely come, I mean, if we do read them in October. Uh, I would say, you know, I mean, usually where the summer is usually what, 85 to 90,000. I think you'll see the, the commitment come back at over 100, I would guess. Yeah, that's the. Uh, you have a usage space operation. That's the problem. You put a water ban on, you cut down your usage, but you also cut down the drink. So you just get a, you shoot yourself in the foot. Oh, process. You know, what else? Is, there's nothing that you have no other choice. It makes sense to me. I mean, I, I think, you know, bring stuff over to my own. It's like, you know, to dig into it. The capital crew, all of them, that little box. Well, that's what I'm wondering. You know, I mean, do we start digging into it or do we, you know, what I mean, if we do go with her, do we say, hey, can we get this done first? The rate study done like first and quick, you know, what I mean, see if you can get it involved. Hey, in the operation costs, yeah. you know, how you see those growing, plus capital improvements and replacement and stuff over 10 years. Anyway. Yeah. So you look at that total amount of money. Then you put up the rate. So we can bump the rate and start playing games like Billy says, and you know, not produce much water, you don't get as much income. Yeah. But then again, if the belt, if, if you don't get enough water in the well, you better have a million dollars to find another well. Right. Because that's what it costs. So you know it's it is rocking a hard place. We've got to get consumption down. The part of getting consumption down is going to get the rate to a rate that pays you know, so that if you do reduce the, the amount of volume, you still get the revenue from a higher volume. Well, you got to base that on reality. You can't sell it to people right? just by saying we're going to have to raise the money. Right? Right. You got to show them that this is what it's going to cost over the next 10 years to operate this water system. We're taking in X amount of dollars and we need 5X. Ergo, we've got to change the rate. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, drill your own freaking ball and cut the pipe. <clears throat> it really, it, it really kind of is that simple. It is. It isn't, but it is. So, you know, we, it, it, to me, it makes sense to have. Somebody really be able to, who has the knowledge and background to dig it. I just don't have the knowledge of DP anymore. All this stuff. Right. And the rates are varied depending on how you go about it. We are having meters. How do we want to structure the rate? But it, it clearly, you know, whether it's a, you know, a sliding up fee or a block fee or something, but then you could also get the withdrawal for commercial and agricultural uses, which is not insignificant. It's a lot of water over it. Yeah, they're the biggest users. <laughs> and they're going to watch them up. Uh, they'll be one step. I don't know if it went online or that. They'll probably go up a little bit. Well, that's part well, of that's the line, that cooler. Is it? Yeah. You could have a residential rate and a commercial rate. You got two separate rates. Yeah. Well, I see, you know, I mean, I have been looking at other towns. They'll go residential, they'll have a commercial, they'll have an agriculture. People always, I remember people, my experience in years with people were always afraid that if you raise the rates, the businesses would go away. The businesses were the least concerned about. Like, that's my price doing business. Yeah. If I got to pay this for the water, I need the water, I need the money for the water, I'll adjust the price on the other rent. That's yeah. what they do. No product, but you don't have to worry about it. It's going to right. <laughs> <laughs> And you can put variations in residential rate too. Yeah. For 
somebody who spends every day hundreds of thousands of gallons water in his lawn. Well, so you should pay more than I do who doesn't want it. Yeah, you don't want to hurt support. the ones that are no. being responsible with it. Well, I can tell you what, I got my water bill last time. It was 38 bucks. <laughs> it's me and my wife. I've been in this business a long time. 38 bucks is too cheap. People spend seven twenty bucks on a four pack of freaking beer. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but my buddy was up last week, so I couldn't make me a, a company for a couple of days before he left. He wanted to go to the treehouse. Mm -hmm. Goes goes away with I don't know a couple, couple of cases. That's a few hundred dollars. <laughs> and it ain't that good. <laughs> well, we were a couple of years ago. Remember, we went to a maybe you were here. Now. We did. We went to a flat rate. A minimum. A minimum. Come on. Oh, they were screaming. The guy, the, the guy like Gary will make you lose a loan who uses six dollars worth of water a year. You want to pay twenty-five dollars a twenty-five dollar minimum. He says, why should I? Well, ask the power company how they do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. People don't see the maintenance and operation side. They just see them all using it for the water. They don't see the cost behind it. And that's to me the part of selling the rate increase, showing them what it costs to produce the water now and Going what they do the math for you. You know, they'll say, Here, here's how many gallons I use, here's what you're going to charge me. I'm paying $12 a thousand gallons, and somebody else is paying $435 or $465. How's that? How's that fair? So that would be okay. abandoned ship on that one relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. You're doing something the power company does, you have maintenance line operation, you have source of different yeah. things you can put in that lump. But we talk about that too a little bit. I mean, it's just having a minimum fee, then of water on top of top of that. So everybody pays a maintenance fee essentially for the system. Some chunk of change pays 50 bucks for yeah. water or some of that. And then your water used to stay so your water rate stays lower, but you get a chunk of change. And, and the guys that don't like it, it's like at the pipe and drill out. Oh, wow. You just oh, do that water. They don't see it as a priority guy from Northern Vermont. He's he swore to God, he kept saying that they were trying to build they need three million dollars. Is an unfiltered surface source. You need to have a, you know, a treatment plant, a closed reservoir, and, and transmission to get down. You have to set a pipe in the bottom of the pond. And it was gonna cost three million bucks. And he argued every time. He said, this can't be this is a God-given resource or be free. And I look kind of good. Yeah. But then I, it's what it costs to get it to your door. It's yeah, it's free and falling out of the sky, but it doesn't show up at your house. Anyway. You can't win them all over the door, you know. Oh, the select them, they might pay them water. <laughs> we, we have a private well. <laughs> yeah, I, I had I, I lived on a private well for 40 years. I, I didn't know them all my life, but I know what that's like too. So yeah. I was hoping that you know when just before I moved out here, just three years ago, uh we had a contract on the house and we had a lightning storm and it took out my oh. well. Oh, she owed your rapture of the light right out the door. I got to deal with that. It was like 26 years, it never went down. I, I lost it once before it closed my house. Yeah, we had to have ours dug up a couple months ago because it was leaking at one of the connections to the house and spitting water into the basement and into the yard. So, but now it should be okay for a while. Yeah, you don't notice the cost of the pump, it's the electric. Yeah. But, but it's if you take away that cost you can see a light bulb on it. Oh, yeah. it would also be very helpful for you guys if the select board could probably lose some of that ARPA money to pay for some of this stuff because there's no more acute problem than everybody's water. Yeah. You know, having a nice laptop at early parks a nice thing. But I guess I'm, I'm seeing the stuff she's supposed to do is $45,000 for value. Yeah, and, and needs to be done soon. What's well, you know? I mean, the biggest thing is I don't. You, know, I'm you want to hold it? Yeah, you know I mean, I could make another meeting meeting in like two weeks or whatever. Yeah, it's just a quick yeah, meeting to see, see, it, I do. And see if I can get her to come down. Which is that usually she has no problem. I can't remember. I remember having the conversation with her. Is that the order she wants to do these things in, or can they be? They could probably do the rate study for because I know there are interconnected parts. Yeah, to it. But no, she could probably flip it around and do, you know, I mean, get the rate study part of it done first. And, but the thing that's hard with the rate study is like John said, you really need the capital improvement plan to go along with the rate study. Yeah. 
<laughs> you need pieces of each one to make we it. Talk, have her sit here and we talk to her, you know, and explain her problem. Yeah. Well, she knows they talk to her all the time. We could have a lot of numbers around in the operational cost of there. Yeah, I have that. I have. Yeah, I mean, the capital, what we have now. Yeah, I mean, the assets we have now, how long they're good for, what they're going to cost to replace. The big thing is I have a lot of it. I don't think it's, I mean, it's not, I ain't no professional. I ain't professional. It, 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 if I, if I'm it all needs to be put together. Right. If I'm doing, doing that, I need all that. I need conversation to make sure I've got the right data to work with to move it out. Right. Yeah, it, the big thing is, is that it all needs to be put together. And I don't have time to do it for like well, no time and I have no idea. Here. Obsolete before the ink is dry. Of course, prices and things. Well, you know what happened with, just in the center of town in that building. What happened with supply chain issues and everything else? What happened to the price of that stuff? You know, you're trying to figure it out ahead of time. Well, it won't be perfect, but we'll ballpark. Yeah, they, they just do some ballpark figures also. Of course, now the inflation adjustments have become. There's nothing to do with that. It needs to be very clear. You know, cost $50 at 3%. 10 years ago. Well, I think we should invite her, whether it's two weeks or three weeks or whatever, and we have a discussion with her. Yeah, no, I'll give I'll give her a call and see when she can come and then. Get a hold of you guys to see yeah. if the date works here. They generally do. Huh? They generally do. Yeah, she's usually, she could be always down around here somewhere. But she does a lot of small town work too, so she understands. Yeah. They're definitely, definitely different kind of wrinkles the way that there is a stamp there, Frankfurt, or there, polio or anywhere else. Hmm. All right, is there anything else on their new business anybody want to bring up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a water ban up. Is that okay? okay. What's well, on the agenda? So that's going to be under the unanticipated. Yeah, stuff. last minute. Yeah. All right, old business rules and regulations, rates and fees, which we've been kind yeah, of we discussing. Just kind of, we just kind of did that one. Yeah, project list. That one I just left on there. Waiting to hear from if you guys have a meeting again. Well, I can't say what you want to call it. I think I'm pretty sure that Kit wants us to have that storage box. Oh, you know, they want to ask Julia, she knows anything about the telephone pole thing. They were getting to that. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's that's that pretty that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I figured we'd do that. Well, no. The Center Booster Station. Center Booster Station. <laughs> Where do I start? Well, <laughs> our understanding is the selectman put a moratorium on poles being planted in Waitley until the old ones are taken out, but without two new poles. <laughs> the audio is the audio is not very good. I'm missing about half of the words that you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't watch the meeting to that. But somebody told me, did you guys make it or tell Verizon they can't set new polls until the old ones are out? Uh, if that happened, it was prior to my being on the board. I don't recall that happening. I know that. I received a request to gotcha. possibly be the select board member who would um, lean on Verizon a little bit to set the new polls for the um, connection. Yeah, that Jonathan is the one who was on there. You weren't on yet. Yeah. So, I can't get an answer from them, guys. I, you know I mean? That's we what I heard, it. too. Yeah, Nicholas Jones called me yesterday and said that you none of you can get an answer. And... Um, uh, asked if we could figure something out, and I'm happy to call and, uh, you know, let them know that I'm from the select board and that we need the new polls installed. Yeah, you know, I mean, maybe, yeah, I mean, but they hear it comes from uh, 
the select board, you know what I mean? It's probably, yeah. I mean, probably go farther than just little old me calling them up and saying, hey, I need telephone poles. <laughs> Which is kind of surprising that they don't listen to you, but hey, let's 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 go for um, strength in numbers. What do I say to them? I can send you the emails. Yeah, you know I mean that I've been getting back and forth from Verizon and it's it's not the electric company, it's Verizon, because they're the ones that own the poles. Yeah, so right. They have to set the poles. Right. Yeah, you know I mean the electric company, as far as I know, I got emails. They sent it into Verizon a long time ago. And then I got an email from one guy at Verizon saying that there's an engine, one of their engineers is working on the design and study of it. And I'm like, Design and study on it. Design and study of installing two poles. Yeah, the, what needs to happen is the one right on the corner across from the center school. Yeah. That one's going to come out and a taller one's going to be put in so that the electric company can hang the transformers on it. Okay. And then one new pole's got to get put in on the other side of the street so they can bring the wires across. Okay. But that's when they said, yeah, it's with our engineers for the design and study of it. And I'm like, what is there to design and study? You're, just... <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be ready to pump water and have an electricity. Yeah, I mean, we are getting close within the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, depending on supply stuff again, I mean, we could almost be done with it. Yeah, if you want to send me the information, I'll add my voice to the fray and... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Happy to help. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, the radical with double poles. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Any way I can. Yeah, no. For them, it's more intense. See, so, you know what I mean? They're going to transfer the wires. Yeah, but to get the poles, and then once the poles. Oh, you're talking for us. Yeah. Yeah. Once the power comes in, you haven't done. No right. The thing I'm getting nervous on is I know the power companies having issues with getting transformers. And I know he told me a long time ago that they had three of them sitting there, but you know what I mean? At some point, I don't know, are they going to say, well, we need to use these somewhere else? <laughs> right, but they can't get it. Is there a problem? Now we that would be awfully sad if we were ready to pump and then I like just yeah, yeah. after everything we've been through to get to the point where we can pump. Years. You think that would be the after how many years? We <laughs> started talking about it when I left. That was seven years. Ago. Yeah. Yes, that's pretty much where the booster station came. Okay. Let's get that stuff to do this. Yeah, I'll. I'll forward you the emails I've had. I got with Verizon. Okay. And will there be a phone number in there and an actual person to contact or not? Yeah, there should be. I think his name and numbers in there. The engineer from okay. Verizon. Okay, great. Thank you. See, Yankee Candle had no problem getting those boys. Maybe we should have Yankee Candle call them. I know we should have Yankee Candle call them. <laughs> Saving poles and the next thing they put in the poles. What? On the Christian land. Yeah. All right, yes, the last happens. thing is OM in the ERP sanitary survey. And we did this, and that's the only name in the ERP are done. Yeah. They're done and updated to at least last Friday when Elm came and replaced the pump controls in here. So now we need to update the o &M to reflect that change. Yeah. Well, but I probably won't until the booster station goes online, then just update it with everything. Time, there's daily stuff involved with that. That's the other thing I was going to mention that we need to do at some point in time. Like when when Carol got sick, Wayne told me that morning, he says, can you go up and do the daily stuff? So I came in, I'm familiar enough with it. I know where stuff is. I know what to read, where to put it. But 
there has to be a document, something somewhere that could tell whomever. Yes. If something God forbid something happens to him. What are you doing with custody for? We have to meet him. You know, no, it, it's really just that simple. I know where it is. So does he. Well, we're the only ones that do it. Well, it was easy when you were, but. Well, yeah, I, I tried to make it. Yeah. It was almost. I had my paper. paper. It's a yellow box on the back wall <laughs> on the left. Because you, it really is that. For somebody who has no idea, it's in there somewhere. In Tristan's stuff. Yeah, it's final block. Yeah. It needs to be on a clipboard, step by step. Walk through the door. Master meter's over there. Chlorine tank is in the back. You mix this to make that. And I try to make it as easy for you as I could yeah, because was, you don't do this thing. Yeah. And if, if something was to happen to him and he wasn't able to do it. The background things were simple. Oh, good yeah. Lord. All this stuff that's in the other room there, short. I got out of here just in time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the box were shit. Yeah. Things in there that I, you know, somebody needs to know how to. How to deal with that stuff. And I'll, I'll be the first one to confess you. I'm the backup operator, but I don't want him to do with that. Yeah. I can come in, do the readings, take the chlorine, fill the tank, do whatever. <laughs> but even that it has to be yeah, down and right steps. there for somebody who, in a pinch, has to. This thing is nice next to you, yeah, if it doesn't help. No, because you get really nervous when you're trying to find something. If it's in there somewhere, but you have no idea where. Well, one sheet, <clears throat> one or two sheets. Even just you. coming in here to check how much water is in the tank. Yep. But that's something that they, you know, we just have to, I mean, I just got to sit down and just not do it. We need the daily steps. Up. This is what, what I do when I come to the door. What are they books called? The dummy, the yellow yeah. and black. Yeah. And water yeah. works for dummies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you literally could give anybody. Yeah. Get them here. Here's the clipboard tells you what to do. And watch and see. <laughs> If you if you can find the cheese in the maze, and if you can't, you haven't done it right. Because yeah. it may be as simple as sometimes you got to call a highway garage and say, "Can you guys go up and do the daily?" So yeah. the system keeps pumping, keeps running. Somebody has to know where this stuff is. Yeah, you have to get that first bit of speed because then they're operating the license. All right. Yeah. So you still end up being responsible for it. But the, you know, the primary objective is to have water come out of the faucet and turn it on. Right. And the rest of the stuff we can take care of, but we are adding chemicals and that makes it. This thing is getting this thing is getting deep. Well, at least four of us are retired. We're always here in March, so but I the other day when you come, I think I can I think I can. <laughs> I go up here and I go, okay, I gotta walk in and gotta look around for a minute. Okay, I know it's over there and it's over here, and, and that's all well and good, but if one of those Big torpedoes doesn't decide they want a fire in here. I'm done. <laughs> I'll leave my keys on the desk. I'm going home. Job security. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Job security. <laughs> All right. Anything that wasn't anticipated. And I guess that first on that list would be an uneven water man. Yeah, I printed you out that letter that DEP sent. Skip the voluntary <laughs> thing and go right to the ad meeting. Oh, ad yeah, that's we're going right to ad meeting. You have those signs already. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, I make a proposal that we uh, put a ad meeting water ban on. Second, mm -hmm. effective when? now, yeah. Last week, huh? I, well, you got Liz got to do the See tomorrow morning. morning. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so I'll have ask if Lynn can put something out over a robocall and put it on the website. Put it on TV. Put, put, put it Facebook. on we the Facebook. Facebook Please Facebook. 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 Do we have signs stood up? Yeah, we're not coming over here. We got some over here in the store. Well, all those in favor of closing a water paper on even. I got tons of legs here. <laughs> George. I got tons of legs left over from it. Oh, the 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 two the two I got signs. Blank signs. I got legs. I got all kinds of stuff. So we can get them up and get off in a hurry. All right. So as soon as you can get it effective. Yeah. 
you know. All right, any other? Who, who, who's the unfortunate? I don't know. Stop really sure. Who are you saying? Okay. I don't know. I'm not advocating. It's a tough thing because it, it seems to be the only real place that's an issue is yeah. go out the water. Well, it, I mean, you'll see, it worked the last time. It took, what, maybe three or four days. And then you start, you start seeing the numbers like start drastically dropping. It took a little while to get around. I don't know if it's if it's too heavy handed or not, but as part of the rule book, all you can say enforcement of the ban will be seen to by whoever. <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a the way we police, you run that by Jim before you make that robo call. So at least when I hear that and I got my sprinklers going, yeah, I mean, shit, I see the cops, but they're here all the time. Maybe advise you something. I don't know if it's too too hard a, a punch. But to put the sign and says, please don't do that, that works for most people, but not, not for everybody. Not for everybody. And the, but not everybody's are the, the worst abusers. They're the ones that are wandering constantly. So they need to know where they're, what's going to happen to them if they don't play ball with us. Well, who's legally the enforcer? I don't know. That's the that's three right. of us, all well, four, you. I have um, no idea. So we, can't, you can't, we can't write tickets. <laughs> no, but I mean. That's a public education is for you. Right. I don't think there's. I have else. stopped and told people I'm a last one. <clears throat> right, which I do. You know, I mean, that's why I said it usually takes three or four days, whatever, for the word to get around. And then people do start listening. And the other thing is, is a lot of people might, you know, I mean, they might not know how to go down to that control panel and. Oh, I guarantee you. Change. Yeah, I mean, change when they come here. on and up. Where never mind yeah. how to do it. Where the hell it is? Yeah. Right. Because they call him Nesta in the spring. He comes, turns it on, and they call him. He goes back in the fall, blows it out, and puts it to sleep. <laughs> and other than that, it just does what it does. Wow. Yeah, I mean, so I'm already expecting you'll get like the last time you'll get phone calls from some anonymous person saying that their neighbors an odd number and they're using the water on an even day. And so it's Nobody wants to talk to the neighbor anymore. It's things like somebody else wants to do the work. But yeah, it, I mean, it worked last time. It just took, you know, I mean, it took a few days for it to get around. And I'd stop if I see somebody, and like George Ann said, she'd stop. And I know Jim and Don, the police, said they, if they drove by, they'd stop and let them know. And, Eddie Robolesky was one of the cutting air nodes. Yeah. <laughs> sprinkler going, turn your glass on, cut your nose in half. Excuse my French. Go ahead. Now water. <laughs> that <laughs> may be a little extreme. Yeah. Especially in this day and age, it's sort of around. Yes. Yeah. Just that and anything. Well, I mean, my, my place would be discovered as outdoor watering for a different period. <laughs> but, you know, people are investing in their green lawns. Well, see, the last time we had to do a complete ban, we never did a complete one. We went to no no car washing, no lawns irrigation, flower washing, but you could water your vegetable garden or your flower pots. Daily use hundred ninety seven thousand gallons. How many users on the system? Three eighty. No, it's four. Now it's like it's either 398, 395, or 401. They're not pushing 400 in any ways. So it's a very easy number. You know, if you go 400 and you have 200,000, you get the you know, what DEPs have freaked out about. People are using that much water. Okay. It's a lot of water. You know, my, my exposure over the years with all around the region is that 50 gallons, 40, 50 gallons a person a day is a fairly reasonable amount for rural areas. Well, that's the thing with that. That permit. Once that gets settled and we get it, we now have to keep a residential average of 65 gallons a day or less. Well, I got to figure out how they generate that for you too. When they say per capita usage, does that mean residential only? Yeah. Because the Yankee Candle can screw up your per capita yes. usage. You know, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's just residential. Okay. That's the, I'm, I'm be glad. Yeah, take the industrial, the commercial, the down. municipal. Even the agricultural, I mean, the amount of water that goes through those greenhouses. Yeah, no, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's residential per house 
a day per year. Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever you want to call it. Sure. Saying 300 gallons a day. Per well, household. if you figured, if you figured 50 gallons, use the number 65 gallons per day per person, and the average household is four people. Four times 65 is your average daily consumption. That's what we mean. Right? Two feet. We want 300 gallons a day. Or 300 so gallons a day for six per months. Household. Yeah. If you do it for six months, then you, that's your, that's kind of like your, your ceiling on before the rate goes up. Yeah. You know, you remember the 400 is everything. Residential is three, three, maybe three forty. Yeah, it's got to be at least fifty or sixty. I don't know. I'm sure if we're going to get the professional rate, you know, analysis done, they're going to recommend a commercial and, and agricultural rates being different from the commercial. Oh, residential. definitely got it. Because it doesn't make any sense. And you'll probably also, like you were saying, probably go to a tier system for the residential. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a user pay business. Yeah. And people don't see that they're being subsidized. It's like the businesses, that's why the businesses never complain. They know they're being subsidized by the public paying for their community mm -hmm. So they won't cry. Mickey Cannon wouldn't cry if the water ran double. They would not cry. No, like you said, just make it up on your own. Yeah. Like, first, the candle just went up with that. Like, yeah. Hey. Or even a paint. You know what I mean? That's probably about it. No, I'm going to go down. <laughs> Julie, do you have any questions? Not at the moment. Uh, covered what I needed to cover, which was the um, call to Verizon. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just learning from what you guys are saying. So you know, the whole the whole private wealth thing is uh, people forget about that too. It's in drought time like this. You don't know how well that wells you know going to provide. I always when I had my own private well, I never I always never had a problem, which I always wondered what's what. When does this hill drain off? Yeah, you turn yeah. on the and nothing goes out. Oops, Oops. absolutely, right? That happens. People don't realize that. I remember the case, I think it was in Brookfield, around Brookfield somewhere, where a guy was, he had, he had a campground trail park or something. That he's talking about the campground. He was complaining about how as houses were built more and more on this broad hilltop. You think of a hilltop, people don't think of, I'm on this hill. Well, think of something that's like three miles long, two miles wide. It's mostly bedrock with a thin layer of soil over it. And everybody's down in the cracks. Well, the cracks only, whatever the volume of rock is there, about 1% of that best has water in it. Right. So when you get, you know, five houses up there and they're all tapped into that pile, everybody's got plenty of water. Put 500 houses up there, things change. Yeah. It's not that the water's not coming anymore, but, but then the guy found it. His campground, he was running out of water. His well no longer had the production because it was being drained off by other people around it. People on the public water supply don't have that problem. They don't have that headache, they don't have that fear because we're taking care of it for them. Right. So yeah. that's that's worth considering when people look at what they pay for the water. Is that all you gotta do is turn on the tap? The power goes off, you still got water. Right. You don't. If the power goes off, you got nothing. <laughs> yeah. We have the stream and iodine tablets. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to haul it from the stream in your pocket, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is what DEV recommends you use for public notice. You got to tailor it a little bit because it's not really a ban, it's water, yeah, outdoor water restrictions. There's that whole, know. it's like a five page thing I'm going to fill out and send you because I love Lynn, but don't let her wing it. Yeah. You got to give it to her written. This is what we want you to say. You know, so you don't have to think about it. It's not her, not her problem. Yeah. So just read it. Yeah, there's a whole, it's like four or five pages long that I get a fill out, sent to the DEP in Boston. Is it, do you have to do that before you can put it down or can you put it down? No, they usually give you a week or two. Want to be notified. Yeah, they just want to be notified of when you put it on, what type you put on, what your restrictions are, and when you expect to take it off. The band will be the next step. You know, we take a shower on Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday. Which is part of it. <laughs> so if we put it on, Say it starts tomorrow. When do you want to take it off? Well, I was telling you the other day when I was talking about this, we got to be a water man. She was saying how when she was a when she was a kid, and it's, they had probably you know watched when the sixties had some serious droughts, the late early sixties, and uh, she said they would they had four 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 siblings, and the parents would fill the water, 
the bathtub. And they went first and the kids went after. They, that was it. They all bathed in the same tub of water. Yes, that's, that's part of what? Yeah. That's part of the thing is when you're going to take want to take it off. Doesn't mean you have to. If that date comes and we still need it on, I just change the, you know what I mean? I email them and say, yeah, no, we're not taking it off. We're going another month. Push it out there. Push it to the end of August. Now. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I need to put a date on this. Even into September, because you look at the long range forecast, not this. Well, the drought you're in now, you know what I mean? I don't care if you get six inches of rain by the end of August. It's not, it's gonna not gonna difference. bring the drought level up. It's gonna take five feet, six feet of snow over the winter. That's not right. You know what I mean? The rains in the summer really don't do much for anything. You need that big snow melt. I would put it on to the end of September. You can always take it off, but I don't see yeah, you can take it off anytime you want. I just need to put. Yep. I don't see it happening. Yeah, on that paperwork to them, I need to put a date. Yeah, at least by then maybe they'll cut down on their watering of. Uh, oh, they will. You'll grass. see. I think you'll see a big difference by next year. I mean, besides that one odd day that Saturday, I mean you're back to around 180, 190 thousand. By then, people's flowers and gardens are. When it done. That's already closed season, so yeah. I'll be going to end of September. Freezing time. Season starts stress. Oh, there'll be no there'll be no color to saw on no leaves. Put the soft fall off in the area. Hello, I'm still in the meeting. I'll tell you guys. Where do you work? We'll set a date for it. We've got a couple weeks to do that. Yeah, for the, I'll see if I can get Christian. Uh, right. Well, we'll see if we can throw a date at her. Let's throw a couple dates here and throw it. Yeah. Rather so give me some dates. Hard to get far this year. Let's go out for lunch at Blah Blah's at two o'clock on Tuesday. <laughs> Let's say something. When would you like to go? Yes. <laughs> So two weeks from now? So two weeks would be the 15th through the 19th. No problem. Yeah. Ask her that Sooner week. Yeah. Well, I might be. I mean, she might be able to get here next week. That's fine. As long as you've got enough time to post a week. Yeah, you just need two days, well, 48 actually, hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do we need to post a meeting because we're just going to talk to her? Mm -hmm. Actually, any, any anytime more than one of you are around. <laughs> yeah, but there's no decisions being made. It's discussed with the lady. Well, no, hopefully you're gonna. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but no, even if there's no watch more policy, anytime there's more than one of you to get. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a quick agenda, one thing, not that, but. Uh, <laughs> walk for a while. So. Right. They're going to do it like I'm going to talk to you about the parameters. Right. All right. So I'll get to that one. We can skip that one. So me and Hannah, or Hannah actually did, we had, see wherever they are, came down and did an audit down here. Really, the insulation's fine in the building. The only thing is the lights can get replaced. Right, which is only, what, there's two lights on this side, and I think two eight-footers on this side, and one, two, three, four, maybe six four-footers on the other, which even replacing them with LEDs really ain't going to save much juice because they're really not on that much <laughs> anyways, but... <laughs> so that might be happening. We also <coughs> got a proposal from a solar company to put solar down here. On the roof? Yeah. On the roof or first? On the roof. On the roof. I don't know both sides of the roof. Is that going to amount to much? 
electricity we use. Oh, and that's, that's, that's I, think, I couldn't kind of understand it. Well, it's estimating your production would be, uh, you get estimate the number of panels 56, so that's 20 kilowatts. One year production would be 20,000 plus kilowatt hours. You would say $258 a month on the bill is yes. So a 20, 25 year bill savings, $27,000, 25 years, eight years. It's basically two hundred fifty dollars a month less is what they're guessing. What's our electric bill here on that? July? We haven't seen July, but I'm <laughs> guessing July is going to be a twenty-five, twenty-six hundred dollars. I would say at least. I'd say average. If you took the whole year. I think mean, we got the thing in front of us. But if you took the whole year, I would say it'd be about fifteen hundred. More, no more than that. A month of the whole year. An average. Yeah, I mean the winter goes down to twelve. Around the thousand twelve hundred bucks, the summertime is going to be eighteen to twenty something, depending on how much they they run. So you ever say in the profit your pan is over the over the hill? No, I haven't even talked about. We haven't even gone that far yet. But the problem is, in the end, is if the panels are worth it, the DEP really doesn't want solar panels in zone one. No. Like that in Middleton. Well, it's, it's probably the batteries that make it Yeah, we, we wouldn't go with batteries. It's it's batteries. Yeah. Yeah. No, we wouldn't even go with that. No, no, we wouldn't even put that. Yeah. We wouldn't store the power. It'd just be it'd be tied into the grid. So whatever, what do you know? What I mean, we wouldn't, I don't even know at that point if you're using the power, it just goes back into the street, yeah. but you have two meters. Yeah, I mean, with a backup generator, it'd be useless to have the battery. Because the store, to put, I don't know solar that well, but to put enough batteries to mount to any amount of runtime for this place, oh my God. I mean, they probably need that to track the trailer with the batteries. Maybe. Oh, no. A six kilowatt system ground come out with a battery backup. Yeah. And it was eight, eight and then big bull buyers. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, I mean, if you had to run off them, how long would they last? Well, so we set up for three days. We set up for three days. We charge yeah. just on the, on the sub panel. Yeah, the, the, the essential. Use 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 but the, you know, I mean, to store enough for the three phase power down here to run everything. And it's not like down here you can. Say okay, we don't need to run this. We don't need to run that. Really, the only thing you don't need to run is the lights. But it's like you know, down here I, we've got a. It's a grid tied, just you know, no battery backup system. So I'm generating electricity, which just goes through the meter. And when I take from them, I pay for it. When they take from me, they pay for me. Right. And it just you know, ends up I, I'm making money. That's kind of what stored electricity. Yeah, it's kind of what we're thinking of down here. It just be another right. meter put up, and you'd have two meters. One what you're generating, and one what you're using. Right. You become one of the, the municipal kind of power companies going nuts these days because all these people, all of us putting up panels are little suppliers to them. Yeah. They don't have any control. <laughs> they, you know, but so they don't give you much. I mean, there's no uh, New Hampshire's to get, get cash, they can get the money back in cash, but down here, it's just they take the kilowatt hours, convert them at the, uh, you know, the uh, wholesale rate, and stick it on your bill as a surplus and you write it. So, yeah. You know, in other words, I buy it from them for twice what they pay me for or something like that. But it's nice not to have lunch. <laughs> this would be they, they're basically talking seventy-five thousand dollars here with the class one for REC incentive payments over twenty-five years. So there's going to be a they're basically going to be a long-term investment. To me, just look at it simply, it's a $75,000 investment. And they're estimating the kickback would be a savings of $258 a month. Right. So you do that math, 250 a month times 10 is $2,500 per year. So you're talking about less than three grand for the year and you're paying 75, so I think you are using 75, 25 years to so pay it off. So, and then you're not saying 
Well, see, maybe I I think you're getting figuring it out like I kind of understood. <laughs> it's an investment. When I did when I did my house in the West Point, people did it, people ask me what's the payback on? So I'm not doing this for payback. I'm doing it because I want to have solar power with the battery backup because I want to have a generator and right. live power on all the time. We're always just pop. It's a dead end line on a in a town that got one service main coming up to it. So when something went wrong, bang, everybody got down. Happens just once a month. But down here, oh, it's not that long. And you know, if you got to think about the cost, it's, 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 if you want to make the investment up front to have that solar power to reduce our operating costs by some small amount, just realize it's going to take 20 plus years to see that. To see it back. Right. Then your rate will be obviously, to, your rate will continue cheaper when you pay for electricity. We've been out for a day. More than a day twice in the 38, 37, 35 years that I think. Yeah. yeah. Twice. Not in the woods. Right. It's a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Temperature is 10 degrees cooler up there in Savoy. That's because it's higher. It's all forested. The forest down here. Yeah, they changed the power grid somehow because when we first moved here, we lost a bunch of times. No, they here. fixed that thing down on Depot Road finally. And uh, <laughs> like you said. I think the last time we lost power was Halloween. So, yeah. I thought it was no one. So, this reading and back to some to get kind of deal with the stuff. That would make DEP very happy you know, and just know we're working on those things. Hey. Oh, he knows. He wants this stuff is nuts and bolts. You know? Yeah, he knows. I've been talking with Doug. Doug, Doug Payne is. The reason to do that is it's hard to find one of them down there, but he is one but before he retires. <laughs> do you want to vote on it? Sort of the color for the building, but you don't need to vote on that. I don't know, <laughs> pick a color. <laughs> then have a whole way. Sure, you're clear with the air conditioner. That's my favorite color for offices when the building buildings. That was it. Have a whole way. <laughs> If you want it years later, you can change it. It's always there. Yeah. <laughs> we brought the color check. We only had about four or five colors. Which is not, it's hard to understand the colors. <laughs> There's so many shades of white. It's hard to understand. You can make anything you want. As long as it fits in with the cemetery, I guess. What's off the side? It's pretty hidden. Camo. It is. Hidden. You can't even hardly see it. No. no. Yeah, the pickup is here. I gotta really look. Yeah, once you get rid of the big tree, all the white and the white Tyvex on the side, meet you all oh can i get would you mind introducing yourselves by name i know george ann must be george ann right yeah. with the hat yeah i'm over here on the side all righty and then and center john. stage john right here john, john. and then george uh, yeah okay and we got Thanks. billy in the corner yeah billy's behind me over here in the corner i'm the one that took the told john election day you were like I'm the one that stopped you by the way, Leon, on election day and told you you were crazy for taking that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? 